Good morning, I'm the proud principal of Deerfield Beach Middle School, Francine Ball. We're hosting the kickoff event of the national screening of the Be Strong documentary. I'm the founder of Be Strong, and we're so happy to have you tuning in from across the country. Hey guys, don't forget to share with us your awesome pictures of your school tuning in. We'd love to see what you guys post, just hashtag I can be strong. Once again, that's I can be strong, and we have some surprises for those who do. Hey guys, I'm Shay, and I'm one of the Be Strong state representatives from Florida, and I wanted to tell you to enjoy the show! Since 2015, Be Strong has been touring throughout the country to change lives. I don't want to be a part of anything that isn't bigger than me. And that this is bigger than all three of us. This is a different understanding for what the generations to come will be able to acknowledge and appreciate and truly um, build the character of the ear. Naturally, that's what we want to do. Um, we all come from completely different backgrounds be able to understand that there's more out there and we don't have to conform to uh, mediocrity or, or um, your average outlook on life, that we can all be family, be The balance of the quality. Life is tough, but so are you. Some people think bullying is weak. We don't talk about it. If we do, we laugh about it. How is a society we need to be strong and courageous? And we believe and perceive the complete opposite. Until we sit together, come together, learn together, it can remain frustrating in the process. However, if we sit back and listen, truly listen to each other, what will we learn? Where will we be? Our voices are powerful things. If used correctly, we can change the world. I'd rather do that. Let's change the world. Kids have a remarkable ability to be resilient, but they need adults who can guide them when they're faced with challenges. Hey, Alan! <laughs> okay, Emma's ready to blast on a pogo stick for the very first time! Okay. Emma's good! Are you okay? <laughs> Emma will keep trying. All right, that's the spirit. We can teach kids that life is full of ups and downs. But when they fall... <laughs> oh. Thank you. Yeah. They can learn to bounce back. My name is Jesse Funk. Hi, my name is Marcelo Huertas from the Los Angeles Lakers. We're the Forum! Hey, what's up? We're breaking heights. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join, us. Join me to be strong and stop bullying. Join me to be strong and stop bullying. Join me to be strong. Salut! Yes, you miss mommy. Oh, you I mean, I'm from Israel. Join me from Holland. Para ponerle un alto al bullying. Fuck you again, boy. Go out there again, young. King Ji Badian. Stay mine and strive to your best. Good to Nederland. Je m'appelle Sorel. Arrêtez l'harcèlement. Join us to be strong and stop bullying. Hi, my name is Ruby Salamita. My name is Innocent Onya. My name is Idris. Hey, my name is Gracie. My name is Joshua. Join me to be strong and be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Join us to be strong. Join me to be strong. Join me to be, be strong. strong and stop bullying. Join us to be strong. Join us to be strong. Join me to be strong. Join us to be strong.
October is National Bullying Prevention Month. According to U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, 22% of students have been bullied on school property nationwide. And joining us to talk about the event is Be Strong President Ashley Cromer. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Now, I know Be Strong wants to end bullying, to put a stop to it. How right. do parents know if their kids are even being bullied? How do we find out? That's a wonderful question to start with because one of our biggest issues is the fact that there's this segmented discussion that's happening with our youth and with parents. And that's what Be Strong really comes in to do is to provide resources and opening those barriers for communication so parents can be aware of what's going on within this society that is this digital society of this generation. It is called Be Strong. It is a nationwide nonprofit organization with a very serious message to stop bullying. And they're hosting events to stop bullying in schools all across the country. And the numbers regarding bullying are really staggering. And what's even more heartbreaking, about 8% of them had attempted suicide one or more times in the past 12 months. So that's definitely a concern for us at the Louisville Urban League. Um, under the leadership of Sadiqa Reynolds, um, we want to focus on first, jobs, justice, education, health, and housing. And we understand that bullying happens at the home, it happens in the workplace, it happens in the school building. And so with health, we understand that this is a mental health issue. It can cause mental health uh, problems um, and lead to suicide. And so that's a concern for us. So this is teaching tools to these children. Absolutely. Things that you can do and say, and in some of these you have people who have been bullied. Tell me about this app. I thought that was yeah. interesting too. Yeah, we love our app because it's really meeting the kids where they are. You know, it's difficult to say, hey, report here or do this or do that. And it's really to find those children and connect them with the resources. But again, it's an important part of what we do because what it allows is students to independently either use 911 resources, crisis text lines, suicide hotlines. So those kids who are on the brink of ending their own life, there is that moment where they say, there's that, that question, that doubt, should I do this and go through with this? And this app is designed to have videos on there of how to combat if someone is, is, is bullying you because of your weight or the way that you look or your religious freedoms. It has all types of resources for them to watch and know how to combat that issue independently. We know anyone can be a victim of bullying. She started saying that around the school and making lies. They might say they look ugly or they look stupid. I was hurt in unimaginable ways. But their feelings are universal. It really hurt my heart to know that people like this still exist in the world. This group of brave, strong students believes they can help. I would like to live in a world where people never insult anyone who said yes to that. Be Strong, a South Florida-based nonprofit, is fighting against bullies. They're creating videos to teach kids how to handle bullying situations using local students who are victims themselves. Their voices and their stories are the most powerful to create change. So a student who is watching these videos in their classroom or at home, they can connect and say, you know what, that's like me. And action. Like 11-year-old Ayushi Rajan from Boca Raton, feeling isolated from her best friend. Sorry, this is just emotional for me. Family and friends are the best thing you can have when you're getting bullied. I mean, I already have a great sense of humor. And Bo Williams from Miami, who stands up for what he knows is right. I would try to talk to the person that was bullying them and ask them why I was doing it, what's the reason, what does it do for you, what does it do for them. Sometimes humor highlights the negative, not the positive. Now, through this series of videos, they want to help their classmates overcome the same heartbreak they did and come out stronger. It makes me feel really happy knowing that I'm helping somebody else kind of step away from the problem and not getting as hurt. So don't let it break you. Those kids are so brave. Now, Be Strong is producing 35 three to six minute videos. They'll all be available for free download on their app covering all different bullying topics. The goal is for churches, schools, and youth groups to use these videos with their students. They'll all be available this fall. In November 2016, Be Strong launched the Nominate Your Student campaign designed to elevate the voices of inspiring students across the country who are creating an inclusive tomorrow. Hello everyone, my name is Jessula Jinat. I am the state rep for Florida for Be Strong. And for this month, for the month of August, we had to, to express ourselves. And today I want to share one of my poems with you all. It's called, it's an open letter to society. Here we go. Dear society, we only imagine a world without hate. 
We imagine a world where you and I is being a part of a group or accepting others from different groups. We imagine a world without labels. We imagine a world where my physical appearance doesn't have to make you feel uncomfortable. We imagine a world with more allies and less bystanders. We imagine a world where you, society, finally understand that it is okay to be different. It is okay to have our own identity. I may not look the way you do, I may not feel what you are feeling, but I still have blood running through my veins, so please do not ignore me. Dear society, as a true leader, I promise you, I will not only imagine, I tend to create a world with less bystanders and more allies. I want to practice everything that I've been preaching. Yes, let's create a world without hate. Let's be the change that change what needs to be changed and a change society that can be changed by making changes. Let us be. We all can be strong. I can be strong. You can be strong. So let's stand up together and reunite. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alex, the owner and founder of build -A -Bow. My advocacy for the month of August was to write a letter to the congressman or the congresswoman. I wrote a letter to the United States Senator Ron Johnson and Tammy Baldwin and the mayor of Racine. The first response I got of the three was from the mayor of Racine. We scheduled a meeting, I got to go to his office, and we talked about my new position as state representative for Be Strong and how he can help me bring awareness to bullying. My first idea was the book bullying initiative, and the second one was the bully Prudge bracelets. He liked the ideas so much that he said he was going to present them to the superintendent of the Racine Unified School District. The second response I got out of the three was from United States Senator Tim Baldwin. We scheduled a future meeting, and I'm going to meet her in her office in Milwaukee. And I'd say my advocacy overall received great responses, and I can't wait for the month of September. Peace and love. Hey guys, it's Sam here with the August Challenge. So this month we were challenged to express ourselves through a creative outlet, so either a song or a dance or an art piece. Um, so actually this challenge was came at a really great time for me because I just moved to California for a semester school. So I'll be going here at this new school for one semester and then I'll go back to my old school. Um, and basically, it's an art school, so I thought that it was really great that I could have this chance to talk about how I have been creative here. So basically, one of my favorite stories that came out of this month, um, I sat down at the piano, and I was having trouble making some friends, but that didn't matter to me. I was super excited to play the piano because I hadn't played in a really long time. Um, and I started playing a song. I'm not the best piano player, but I was singing along with it and it was really fun. And a girl came up to me and she asked me to show her a few chords. And of course I obliged happily and she is now one of my best friends here at this school. So I think that's an awesome example of how using your creativity can actually help you meet others and meet some of your very best friends. So I hope this story kind of inspired you to be creative yourself in whatever way that you can. Bye guys! Speak up, stand up, choose to be strong. Stand up, speak up, choose to be strong. Thank you guys, have a nice day, bye! Hey guys, I'm Trey. And I'm Madison. And choose to be strong by supporting everyone, um, my family, anyone. Um, in my life. I choose to be strong by overcoming the words that people say and motivating others to believe in themselves. Also, I choose to be strong like through music, like that's like a big part of my life. Um, I'm really starting to like um, understand like my purpose. We want you all to know that everyone has a purpose in life. And that if you haven't found your purpose yet, trust me you will. And always believe in yourself. I sent a letter to my congressman, and I'm hoping he will do something special for Be Strong. It's important that we stop bullying. And also, you know, it could take a while. These congressmen take a while, but we can wait. I'll update you later when I have the entire story. Peace out. Be strong. 
So through the month of June, our challenge was to compliment 10 people. And I really, I enjoyed this challenge because it really kind of tested like who I was comfortable like going up to and like saying, wow, you're really beautiful. And like, you must have a sweet personality, things like that. Because people are just great. They're so kind and when you're doing that, it's just like you really see how many people just like need that extra little, hey, you know, you're doing great today or hey, you look really beautiful today or hey, you're so pretty. Like, they get so happy and I love to see that joy on their face. Hi, my name is Brianna and I am the Oregon State Representative for Be Strong. I choose to be strong in my community, my school, and, in, and empower the hearts around me by showing my glow. Your glow is what makes you, you. Everyone has a glow, but not everyone chooses to show it. Your glow is made up of your smile, your beliefs, your um, quirkiness, everything about you that is that makes you unique. Now, I by being different and showing that I tell people or show people that it's okay to be unique to be different and by doing this I find that I am happier when I accept myself as who I am this can be difficult I know it can trust me I've struggled with this kind of stuff before but I've found that when I am happy with myself that I I'm a better person, I'm kinder, I am just happier and don't let the bad things that people say about me or others bring me down. By being ourselves, we can really show others that even though we're different, we can, and even though we can't wipe out bullying entirely, we can be happy with ourselves and that we are stronger than the things that try and drag us down. Be yourself, it's, it's really okay. No, it's, better than okay. It's amazing. Hi, I'm Tahani and I'm your Illinois State Representative for Be Strong. I hope you all had a great 4th of July. So my favorite thing that came out of the July challenge was that I saw a tweet that had like hateful comment written by a girl on Twitter and I DM'd that girl and I told her, hey, like I don't know what's going on, but like I saw this tweet on Twitter and it seemed like it's really disrespectful and mean and it's like talking about another girl. So I told her like, can you please take that twi tweet down because it's like very like rude and like you wouldn't want that for yourself. And so the next couple hours, the girl took down the, like the tweet on Twitter and um, I just felt like very happy that even though I didn't know what was going on, I still like came into the situation and like told her to take it down, like, you know, not trying to be involved or anything, but like still trying to stand up for what is right and that everyone like says great things about each other and no hateful comments. Hi, I'm Bo Williams and I'm 13 years old and today I partnered up with the High Leo firefighters and local politicians to help spread awareness of bullying prevention. Hi, my name is Josiah and I'm the Be Strong representative for Kentucky. I choose to be strong in school by being around my friends, being myself, and standing up for people when they don't get treated right. I choose to be strong at home by being around my mom and my granny and just talking to them about what happens at school or what happened in summer or what, whatever happens. What I would tell the world that you always got to be strong, stand up for people or stand up for yourself. Always trust people if, if they, if you think you trust them, trust them, but always be careful, trust the case. Hope you have a great day and always stay strong. It's amazing how a little act of kindness can go a long way. Hi, my name is Jordan. One of the ways I plan to be strong in the future is to not let anybody's negativity affect my growth and success in any way. Thank you. Be the change. Be yourself. Be heard. Become a Be Strong student state representative.
Our Be Strong Live Tour brings thousands of students together for a high-energy, inspirational experience with millions more watching online. Motivational speakers, inspiring musicians, and influencers that have personally overcome bullying show students just how much more is possible in their own lives. From Broadway to hit TV shows, her voice has traveled throughout entertainment. Walking away from three record deals, instead choosing to use her voice to inspire teens. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Funk. So it hurts to be bullied. It hurts 20 times worse to dish it out and to look back and to look back now. And I want to tell you guys something. I want you to think of someone who has been mean to you. I want you to think of someone who has been super mean to you. And I want to apologize on their behalf. I want you to fast forward the time to about 10 or 15 years down the road. And that kid most likely, most likely will change and will become a great person. There is hope for everybody, even the bullies. So I want to apologize on behalf of all these kids that we're trying to figure our stuff out. We're trying to figure it out, and it's so hard because that pressure has to go somewhere. And then guess what, you guys? Guess what happened? I got suspended from school multiple times, and my principals were so wise, and they said, oh, suspension's not doing anything for Jesse. Let's try something else. They sent me to a summer camp for troubled kids. And I got there, and one of the leaders at this camp came up to me, and she handed me a megaphone, and she said, Hey, Jesse, I need your help with something. I need you to get on this megaphone, and every 10 minutes, I need you to just tell everyone at this, at this camp that it's time to rotate stations. They're all doing different activities. So I got on this megaphone, and I just said, All right, time to rotate. And in that moment, 
This woman, she said to me, I think you'll be good at this, Jesse. And for two years, you guys, no one had ever said that I'd be good at something. The labels that I was getting were, you're such a brat, you're such a bully, you're so mean, you're no good, you're not wanted here, we're gonna kick you out of school, you're not welcome in our community. That's the message that I was getting in my own mind. So when this woman said, I think you'll be good at this, Jesse, I was like, don't you know who you're talking to? I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm a bully. So I'm showing everybody that I'm a bully because that's what I've been told I am. And that's all I am. There's no good in me. I totally bought into that lie. So when she said it, that was my catalyst. That totally changed my life. Because guess what I discovered? I liked that megaphone. I liked the megaphone. It felt powerful. It felt like, oh my gosh, I have some control over something. And then these kids at this camp, they came up to me and they were like, hey, Jesse, what do you think I should do about this? And hey, Jesse, like, I need your opinion on this. And I was like, who are you talking to? Like, why would you ask me that? I'm not a leader. And then this little seed in my mind was planted and I thought, hmm, maybe I could be. I don't know, maybe I could be. And that changed me because guess what? Bullying is an addiction. It's exactly like a, a being a shopaholic or a workaholic or a gambler. It's called a process addiction. And I was addicted to it. I love that feeling of power. But guess what? Leadership, positive leadership, gave me that exact same feeling, but in an awesome, healthy way. And I was able to turn my life around and become better. And I'm making progress as a human being. And I'm so proud of that, you guys. It is very easy for people to believe that bullying is always physical, that big kids pick on little kids. I used to think that too. I also did not realize that gossiping and spreading rumors are bullying, and I did it along with everyone else. Now I know that rumors and gossip can hurt more than punching or shoving. Words have power, and when you don't know where those words come from, they are even more powerful. I have seen friends fall into depression because of this type of bullying. To those who say them, words are just words, but when things are being said about you, it isn't that simple. This type of bullying can lead my friends to a breaking point. I have made up my mind. I will not stand for this kind of behavior. Even if it is the norm of our society, I do not mind going against the norm. I do not want to listen to rumors and gossip and I refuse to spread them. That is bullying and I do not want to be a part of it. I owe this to my friends and I hope everyone I meet learns from my actions. For lasting change, we need real tools. So pay close attention to Jesse for this next part. I spent the last eight years studying bullying. I know I'm a total science nerd, so proud of that label. I love to study science because I wanted to understand the cycle. How is it so easy for me to get stuck in that cycle? And a lot of us, it, we get stuck in that trap. I wanted to understand it. So I have come up with some really awesome tools that can totally help you guys deal with this. If you have someone that's in your face, I can teach you how to get them off your back so that you can focus on your awesome life. So let's bring out, I have six awesome new friends. Give them a huge hand. They're so brave, they're so brave. So we're gonna talk about real bullying now, okay? I told all of these awesome kids, I want them to like be so mean. I told them they could make fun of me, they could call me fat, stupid, ugly, weird, you can say anything you want. You can even push me, I'm a black belt in karate, I can totally take it. All right, I want you to be super mean. I'm gonna show you how to do it wrong, and then we're gonna go through six different ways of how to do it right, all right? And this is, you guys, this is for if you really just want someone off your back. They are bugging you, and you wanna focus on your awesome life, and you just want them off, their, off your back, all right? Here we go, super mean, and action. You can buy all the makeup in the world and you'll still be ugly. <laughs> How could you say that to me? Come right back here, Missy. How could you say that to me? I think I look amazing. I love my makeup. I don't know what you're talking about. You, like, did you even, like, do anything with yourself when you woke up this morning? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think so. And you are just so mean. I'm going to go tell my teacher that you are rude. And then I'm going to go cry in the corner. Okay, give her a hand. That was impressive. Come here, sweetie. That was impressive. Your meanness was moving. Well done, well done. All right, you guys, if she gets in my face, what is my natural human reaction? Exactly, to get right back in her face. And is that a bad thing? Is it a bad thing? Think about this for a second. Shh. Think about this for a second. Is it a bad thing for me to try to defend myself and stand up for myself? Nope, of course it's not, but if I want her off my back and she's in my face and then I get back in her face, what is her natural reaction after that? 
to attack back. To attack back, exactly. So we've just created a ping pong match. We're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth, and now it's fun, now it's a game, and she's excited to do it again tomorrow. So if I really want her off my back, she really is bugging me, and I just wanna focus on my awesome life. I have to outsmart her. So I'm gonna use science. We're gonna use brain science. I love me some science. If I can force her to stop being mean, then I win. Do you think I can do it? Okay, we'll see, here we go. Super mean, like make me cry. Here we go, and action. <laughs> You're so ugly. Oh, you think I'm ugly? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Because you are. Oh. Okay. Why? Because you're not pretty. Because I'm not pretty? Yeah. Why? <laughs> because you wear too much makeup. Oh, I wear too much makeup? Oh. Why? <laughs> because you're... You're not self-confident. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you don't. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I hope that you have an awesome day. And at this point, I turn around and I walk away and I don't even wait for a response. Give her a huge hand. Good job, sweetie, well done. That is a super easy tool, you guys. You can use the word and, the word so, the word why, or the phrase thank you. You say it over and over and over again and they get bored, they're not getting the reaction that they want and they don't really know what to do. You're creating a very real psychological response in their head called cognitive dissonance and it's confusion. They feel confused, they feel bored, they don't know, they don't know how to respond. All right, so and, so, why, or thank you. Write those down if you have some paper. Here we go, tool number two and action. You have no friends and you fail at life. Oh. I fail at life. You think so? No. Well, I mean, yes. Yes, you do. Um, so, like, why would you say that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm supposed to. <laughs> so, I'm wondering if, like, maybe you're sad and you want to make me sad, too. I guess so. All right, well, that's interesting. I mean, if you, if you need any help, like, I'm a super good friend. Like, you could talk to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, and in a normal situation, she might say, no, I'm not sad. My life's amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. And to that, I would say, interesting. And then I say, have a nice day. And I turn around, and I walk away. Give her a huge hand. Huge hand. Good job, honey. Well done. That is called questioning. I say, why would you say that? Because you're so stupid. You're so ugly. Are you sad and you want to make me sad too? No, my life's so amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. Interesting. Have a nice day. Turn around, walk away. All right, here we go. And action. Go far enough now. Hold, nobody cares about you anyways. No one cares about me? No one cares about me? Okay. Oh my gosh. Did you know that we're having pizza for lunch today? I love pizza. It makes me so happy. Do you like pizza? I love it. I know, right? I like cheese, but most of the time I like pepperoni. Yeah, me too. Sweet, yeah. I'm gonna go eat some pizza, so I hope that you have an awesome day. And I turn around and I walk away. Give him a hand, good job, well done. I love it, it's nice. That one's super easy, you're just changing the subject. You can say anything you wanna say. You say, oh my gosh, I have a dance recital after school. My brother's taking me to the skate park after school. You can say anything. You change the subject, they're kinda like, okay, that's a little weird, like I wanted her to get mad, I wanted her to get sad, but she's not. And it works, you guys, in real life. I'm gonna back this up with some real life stories in just a second. It works because we are accessing their brain. We are getting inside of their heads and we're using cognitive dissonance to outsmart them. All right, here we go. Tool number four. Here we go. And action. You got a haircut and you still look like Chewbacca. <laughs> I look like Chewbacca? Yeah. You don't like that? No. Oh, okay. You know what? I, I know, like, maybe you're trying to be funny. Like, I see... I see all your friends laughing over there, so I, I think, like, maybe you're trying to be funny, but I don't like it. I don't deserve it, and I want it to stop but I like it. I mean, I can't make you stop. I can't control you, but I'm asking you to stop because I don't like it and I don't deserve it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't like it, but I can't control you. So you do your own thing, but I'm asking you to stop because I don't deserve it. And I hope you have a great day. And I turn around and I walk away. I do not even wait for a response. Good job. 
Awesome. So that one is just, you're, you're just saying tactful assertiveness. It can be any phrase you want. I don't like it. I don't deserve it. I want it to stop. That's my least favorite tool because it doesn't work the fastest or the best to get someone off your back. But the reason why I like it is because it builds our confidence muscle. You guys walk away and your heart is pounding and your hands are sweating and they're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just did that. I just did that. My mom didn't do that for me. My teacher didn't do that for me. I did that. You guys can be the hero of your own story. And that's really exciting. All right, here we go, and action. You're so fat and no one likes you. You think I'm fat? A little bit. Okay, okay. You know what I think? I think big is beautiful, baby. <laughs> well, sometimes it is. I think it's beautiful all the time, every day of the week. That's cool for you. <laughs> It is cool for me, because I think big is beautiful. And I hope that you have an awesome day. And I turn around and I walk away. Give her a hand, good job. I love that tool, and I use that phrase on purpose. I use that phrase on purpose because a girl that I was coaching at my home in Utah, she said to me, she said, I'm about 20 pounds overweight, and all these girls at school were bugging me all the time, saying, you're so fat, you're so ugly. Constantly bugging her. And she chose this tool. She chose what to say. That's leadership. She chose what to say. She chose the tool. And she just said, she lifted her chin up. She rolled her shoulders back. And she said, big is beautiful, baby. And she said it over and over and over again. And it took six times over the course of two weeks. And they never bugged her again. They never bugged her again because she won the game. That's leadership, you guys. All right, last tool. This one is my favorite. This is my personal favorite. Here we go. Super mean. Like, make me cry. Here we go. Action. Even though you lost 20 pounds, you're still fat. Oh, you think I'm fat? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I actually think I look pretty good. I feel, like, super healthy and, like, really strong. So, like, that's me. But if you think I'm fat, okay. Hey, and oh, my gosh, I was going to tell you, I saw you in the soccer game the other day. You were ridiculous. Like, really awesome. I loved watching the game. I know. Yeah, you must know. Like, you must know. Like, you're so good. It was a really fun game to watch. Yeah, I know. Awesome, awesome. I just hope you have a really good day. And I turn around, and I walk away. Give him a huge hand. All six of you, good job. Well done. You're done. You are finished. Thank you for playing my game. That tool is my favorite. Write this down if you have some paper. It's, it's the CLAW. C-L-A-W. I love acronyms. C stands for stay calm. All of those tools will not work if you get mad or get sad. Because as soon as you have that emotion, as soon as you get mad, as soon as you get sad, they know they win. They know they win if you react. So you have to stay calm. C stands for calm. L stands for love them. Give them one tiny compliment. One sincere compliment. And then something magical happens, you guys. It re they react with a very real psychological response cognitive dissonance that creates confusion. And they're like, okay, this is so weird. It is so hard to be actively mean to someone who's being actively kind to you. That's hard to do. So it feels weird, it feels uncomfortable, it feels vulnerable. And what does a bully wanna feel? Power, exactly, they wanna feel powerful. So they don't wanna feel confused, they don't wanna feel vulnerable, they don't wanna feel uncomfortable. So these tools work in real life and I'll prove it. That last tool, was used by an amazing 16-year-old boy in North Carolina. I'm gonna call him Jeremiah. I gave a speech in his high school and he sent me an email about a month later and he said, hey Jesse, I had planned my suicide. I knew exactly how, I knew exactly when. And I heard you present and I heard you talk about your weird, cheesy, even weak tools. I love this boy, that's exactly what he said, I'm quoting him. And he said, hey, I guess I don't have anything to lose. I guess I'll try it. These boys had been bugging him for an entire year of his life, every day, which is rare, because sometimes bullying is like maybe once a month, once a week, but every day these kids were on him, telling him he was nothing, he was worthless, he was a, a disgrace to humanity. I mean, just saying like the meanest things to him online. They'd follow him home. He didn't have any rest at home, and they were also in his church group so he couldn't get away from them on Sunday for a solid year. And he thought the only way to solve his problem was suicide. So he did not want to die. He wanted to solve the problem. That's really important. So he chose the claw. 
He chose it. I didn't tell him what to say. I didn't tell him what to do. He chose that. That's leadership. Choosing to be your own hero, that is leadership. And he looked these boys right in the eye, and he said something like, your hair looks nice today. Your backpack is cool. I saw you in the basketball game. You were really good. Simple but sincere compliments. He lifted his chin, he pulled his shoulders back, and he said it strongly. And then he said, have a nice day. And he turned around and he walked away. It took seven times over the course of three weeks, and those kids never bugged him again. So I know this feels weird. I know this feels kind of cheesy and even weak, but this is the stuff that works. And I need you to think about this for a second. When bullying happens, we do feel embarrassed. We don't want to talk to anybody about it. So there's a lot of kids who don't know that they can be their own hero. So if you guys in this audience or anybody watching, if you guys don't struggle with bullying at all, you've never been bullied, everyone has always been kind to you, that's awesome. But I can guarantee you know someone who's getting that treatment. I know that you know someone who's getting that treatment and they might not know how to respond other than getting mad, other than getting sad, which just makes it go on and on and on. I expect you guys to teach. I expect you to be leaders now that you know these tools. You can pull that kid over by their elbow and you say, hey, I don't know what that was about in the hall, but that guy looked like that maybe he or she was being really rude to you and I, I don't know what, what was going on, but hey, this like crazy like redhead lady at this Be Strong event, she taught us these weird tools and I don't know if it would help you, but why don't you try saying why over and over again? Why don't you try giving them a sincere compliment? Why don't you try saying, are you sad and you wanna make me sad too? I don't know if that would help you, but give it a try. They might not know how to respond. And you guys could teach them, and guess what? They would listen to you. They would listen to you way faster than they'd even listen to me. You guys have so much power, you have so much influence, more than you will ever realize. If you said it, they might act like, okay, that's weird, that's cheesy, but they will listen. And they might actually do something about it instead of handling a problem through cutting instead of handing their problem through an, drugs or alcohol or an eating disorder. All of those things are ways to deal with pain. So if we can teach other kids how to deal with this type of stuff, a conflict in a friendship or real bullying when someone is in your face wanting you to get mad, wanting you to cry, if we can teach them those tools, it can really, really help. It might not fix all the problems, but it absolutely can help. I will make it quick though. Because this guy over here reminded me of the guy who was actually my bully. Yeah, I know, I was bully, right? He gave me the blues in school, middle school. I mean, every time I came to school, he had something to say, something to do. One day we was in shop class. I will never forget it. Seventh grade. I don't know how he did it. Shop class was a class where we kind of made things. I don't know if y'all still have that now, but we did back then. And he actually pulled a knife out on me and threatened my life. There was no teacher to stop him. I was literally at the mercy of this dude. I said, all right, man, you got it. I'm sure he felt strong, I'm sure he felt tough that he made me look like a wimp that day, but what could I do? Two months later, he hung himself. So then I started to think, you're bullying me, but who's bullying you? A lot of the times, man, when we come to school and we all tough and those loud and wanna put our hands on other people and try to be tough and strong, sometimes something's going on at home that we don't know about. Being bullied is definitely something that we don't want. But man, sometimes you just gotta reach out to the one who's bullying. Try to find out, man, like what's going on with you? So all you little bullies out there, think y'all tough and strong, won't hurt people. We know you might really be hurting at home too, man. Hey, my name is Zoe, and you might know me from writing and producing on some of your favorite songs. But this one we wrote for you. This is your anthem. See, this the place where your choice is. Do you hear the voice of the voiceless? Oh. I used to blame myself, sitting and wonder, now you seeing it, seeing the strength of numbers, you adding it all up, see what you getting out, don't ever let them tell you your voice doesn't count, that's when love turned to anger, yeah, I understand you feel alone, family feel like strangers, let us take you on now, take you on, yeah, take you on now, love's the elimination, the fear, the illumination, and now when you seeing it right here, we hear you loud and clear, nah, no, you're not a I promise we can hear you before.
before you utter a word. We're all in this together. All in this together. We're all in this together. You're not alone in this world. I see the angels all around you. Maybe you can't see them, but I promise you that they'll keep your voice turned up high. Victory loves the elimination of fear. 